Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with another video. This time it's going to be uh, my fashion frame for Equinox. Uh, Equinox is pretty fun frame, but uh, I really like how how she looks. Um, like like just the base frame, no skin, just looks super good. I think they did a great job with the look of this frame. So I decided I would do kind of just a fashion frame thing on it. And since it has three forms, I'll kind of show you all of them in the appearance tab here. So this is the, I believe the male form. I think this is the dusk. Yeah, I think this is dusk. Or dark form, night form, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, and then this is the, I believe, day form. Could be night form. I haven't played Equinox too much or Equinox too much. Um, I just really like the way she looks. And then this is the base form. This is what I use to kind of base the look on. And I think I think it turned out really well. So let's go ahead and start off. We're just using the base Equinox Prime helmet. The base Equinox Prime skin. Um, if you wanted, you could get the Equinox uh, ant Antonym skin. That one's pretty cool. Uh, that would be... A good replacement I guess but overall I do like the base skin it just looks better and then the animation we use is the Equinox Noble animation it just kind of looks fitting for Equinox uh, and I actually really like what it does here on this uh, this form it just looks good <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get into the colors that I use uh, in the, uh, let's see, where is it? The Hollow's Eve uh, palette. I use the kind of like pinkish one at the top. I, uh, I'm not sure exactly which one it is. It's just at the top in the middle. Um, so I think it's a good color. It works pretty well. Um, the secondary is in the Eminence palette. And it is the purple color. Uh, that's like a kind of darker purple uh, on the right side. It's this one here. And it just looked really good with the kind of pink that we were using. Or maroon? Pink? Yeah, whatever we're going to call that. <laughs> and then next is the tertiary. We use kind of a super light pink, almost white. Uh, this is just kind of a, a decent accent um, as you can see what is changing here is the little kind of glass looking spots on her which obviously they're not glass but they look somewhat like it um, you could change that do a different color this is probably the one that you could change up the, the most um, red looks pretty good um, you know you could go with uh, maybe a maybe a green but, uh, you know, do what you want. I, I do think the uh, the one that I'm using, which is, uh, where is it? In the Valentine? Yeah, in the Valentine. Um, the almost white one is actually really good looking, and it just fits. Uh, next, for the accents, we use like a almost brown, kind of like a tan, um, and the Daybreak package or palette. And that just... That's all the uh, metal pieces. So I think that was really fitting for the metal pieces and it accents the other colors very well. Uh, and then the emissive, I don't actually know exactly what this is changing, but uh, I use the purple, uh, the purple that, that we use for our secondary and then the pink that we use for our primary and then for the energy I use the uh, kind of mix of the purple and pink um, in the Hollow's Eve pack or palette I guess I got call them palettes I keep forgetting to call them palettes I keep calling them packs I am sorry about that um, and it looks it looks pretty good so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the attachments so first off we're using the heartwood chest plate I think this was 
this was a good choice. It actually looks really good with the, the color scheme. I'm not sure why, but it does. It just was really fitting for some reason, at least in my opinion. I mean, if, if you guys don't like it, uh, that's understandable. You know, the, the uh, other choice that I was going to go with was the EOS Prime chest plate. I think it's just a little too plain, and Equinox needs something that's not so plain. <laughs> so I picked the Heartwood chest plate. This does come from a Titania bundle for uh, for one of her skins. I, I don't remember the name of the skin, but uh, I, I have talked about it in past Fashion Frame videos because I do like the attachments. Next is the Vitala shoulder plate. I do use this on both shoulders, and I think it just looks really solid. You know, you have the little beam of energy that comes off of it every now and then. You have just kind of like, they, they look like shoulder guards, actual shoulder guards, which is really cool. I thought this fit really well with Equinox um, and the color scheme. So, you know, if, if you guys would use something else, let me know what you would use. Because, you know, I'm curious to see what you guys come up with. And, uh, you know, you guys are always free to uh, send me pictures of your fashion frames uh, for any of them in uh direct message on Twitter, on Facebook. Um, you can also message me and get my Discord and you can start linking them there. Uh, whatever you guys want to do. But I'm always curious to see fashion frame video or pictures. So, you know, if you guys are interested in me checking them out, I'd be happy to. And, you know, if I like them, maybe I'll even feature them in some videos, of course, with your guys' permission. Um, so, anyways, moving on for the leg plates. Oddly enough, these leg plates worked pretty well. Um, so, actually, let's go back and change our metamorphosis to this one. Um, so, we use the Acanthus Prime leg guard. You can see them down here. They're kind of spiky and metal. <laughs> they worked really well with this, uh, aside from the little bits of clipping you get from the... Uh, kind of frilly parts of the frame so uh i i think they look good and i use them on both legs of course you know you can use something else let me know what you'd use maybe you'd use the heartwood maybe you'd use something else the heartwood does look very good and that is my second choice i would say but i do like the acanthus so uh next for the ephemera i use the vengeful toxin ephemera because uh I know Equinox is uh, it's called Sleep Sleep Equinox, something like that sometimes, um, because Equinox is all about putting things to sleep in the night form, you know, CC, and the kind of mellow look of the Toxin Ephemera is kind of fitting, especially with the color of energy that that I use. So the color of energy is the Hollow's Eve. Uh, purplish pink and you can see it on the uh the ephemera right now and it just looks good <laughs> so i went with it um the primary is the same primary we use for the frame the secondary same thing is the same one we use for the frame in the eminence pack uh, palette uh the primary was in the uh, hollow's eve palette the tertiary um is in the Daybreak palette, it's the tan we use uh, for the, I believe, accent on the body. And we also use that tan for the accent on the attachments. Uh, it just, it was more fitting to have them both be the same than to have the tertiary be something different because the tertiary, the metal needs to be the same uh, as the metal on Equinox. So it worked well. So that's why I went with that. Um, you could change it up if you wanted, but if you're going to change it up, I would change the accent rather than the tertiary because the tertiary looks looks more like the metal than the accent does. But overall, I decided to just go with the same color on both of those. The emissive is you know same thing. We're using uh, we're using the uh, secondary uh, purple. And then the primary pink. Okay, and then 
we'll go to the Sindana. I use the Jotunheim Sindana. It looks really good when it's not clipping through the frame. I think this is actually a fantastic Sindana to go with Equinox. Um, but if you don't like the clipping, you could use the Icaria Sindana. When its wings are out, it looks super good. And it's just a solid choice. But I personally like the Jotunheim Sindana for uh, for a fashion frame look the best. Um, as you can see, you know this is what it looks like from the back. And it just looks solid. It, it's a good choice. Um, so the primary is the same pink we use on the frame. The secondary is the same purple we use on the frame. The tertiary is actually in the Hollow's Eve. Uh, it's a... It's the fourth purple down from the top. And then the emissive is the same. It's uh, the primary and the secondary uh, of the frame. So let's get back to our form that we were looking at. And then the energy, uh, which is, you know, these parts here, the energy, you can change that up to be whatever you want. Actually, I am going to change that to this, uh, to this orange here that looks way better yeah let's let's go with that so yeah yeah that looks really good okay so the orange is in the hollow's eve pack and it's the fourth one down from the top in the fourth row from the left so overall i think i think i've made a pretty good fashion frame for equinox um you know, it, it, it looks good color-wise. It it accents itself well. It has good attachments, good Sindana. Um, but, you know, Regalia is the next thing. Um, this can this can change how your frame looks pretty, pretty good, in my opinion. Um, so I actually use the Glassmaker emblem on both shoulders. They look really good. Uh, kind of locked in this little cage thing on the shoulders, which works. Um, but you can use any emblem you want. The front sigil, I am using the Ku Kumuda sigil. It's this part here, the glowing bit there. Um, it looks pretty good. And I'm using the uh, Eminence, like a lighter purple, closer to dark. Um, and... And then for the secondary part of it, it's also an eminence and it's the darker, more neon purple. Um, you can change that because that's like the, um, you could change it to like a pink maybe, uh, but maybe more of a pink that stands out. Uh, or a different purple. Now you could even change it to an orange if you wanted. You know, all of it will work. Um, but I think the purple just looks best because it's not too different to where it's standing out too much but it's still standing out enough because it's a dark purple and the back sigil use whatever you want that's uh that one's not really going to be seen so use what you what you want um and then just looking at the frame as a whole you know this is the base form of equinox Metamorphosis, this is the male form, I believe the knight form of Equinox. And then you have the f day form, which I believe is the, f well, I believe the day form, which is the female form. Um, it's, I, I think I might actually have those mixed up. This might be the night form. Yeah, this is the night form and this is the day form. I have those mixed up. My bad, I've been saying that this whole time, um, and I was wrong. So, um, let's go ahead and exit out of this. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the fashion frame. Um, we also use the same colors on our weapons, just, just to do a quick overview of that. Uh, God, I hate that it keeps defaulting to that form. Um, so the same exact color scheme on our weapons. Uh, and it, it actually works really well. As you can see. Um, so, 
if you guys like this uh, this fashion frame, let me know in the comments below. If you guys would do something different, let me know. And if you have any uh, fashion frame you want me to see and maybe even feature in a future video, just send them to me and send me pictures of it in a direct message um, on Twitter or Facebook or you know get a link to my Discord in a direct message on Twitter or Facebook or even comment that you want to join the discord and I'll throw it in the comments. Um, and just send me the picture, maybe give me some details on, on the pieces you're using or the colors and, uh, we'll go from there. Um, if you have another Equinox, uh, fashion frame that, that you like, let me know. Cause I, I'm curious to see what you guys came up with. This is what I came up with and I think it, it came out really well. So, um, let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.